What up guys, it's Vico Kang here. In today's video, I wanna show you how to do database activation for real estate agent or any other industry that you desire. But most importantly, I wanna show you the exact workflow and script that we use to help our real estate agent get a really, really profitable ROI, return of investment. So just quickly here, these are the brand that we work with across Australia and New Zealand. And some of our agents are getting four or five listing um, in a very short amount period of time, like in a week or two weeks or even five, six weeks, right? So if you know anything about real estate agent or in the real estate space, one listing is 10, 20 grand, right? So that is not small at all. And if you go up to them and asking for 3K, 5K or even 7, 6K, it's really justifiable, right? And the best part about this guy is only take five to seven minutes on how to set it up once you have the right template and the right script. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video, so make sure that you stick around. So um, this guy here is actually spent 200 bucks and I'm getting $15,000 in return. Um, I have an interview with him and uh, this guy here, 10X his ROI. And this guy here generate 11, actually uh, 100 grand worth of uh, commission. Um, and uh, this girl here, um, 70K, um, 10X hour eyes in just four weeks and, and 120K in 14 days. Hopefully you get the point by now. This is something that's actually worked. And um, this template and script that we show, about to show you is actually have been tested, right? So um, let's, let, let's actually show you the entire workflow. This workflow is actually in our um, free snapshot. It's in our hybrid soft snapshot. It's actually located in the free course. So make sure that you check the link somewhere around this video. But most importantly, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put it in a way that's very simple and easy to understand. So most, so firstly, you want to navigate to um, automation, right? In automation, you get like four folder and you want to head over to the third folder, which have hashtag fulfillment database reactivation for their client. So um, we, this snapshot, you know, we have two folder for you, right? And then two folder for your client, right? So this is for their client, which is for your client, right? And we got two very simple, easy to understand workflow. So we're gonna start off with the first workflow, right? Now, this is going to be the make and break it, right? Again, this still work if you're not in the real estate agent space, right? Um, sorry, real estate industry space, uh, getting caught up in my word there. So we have three tests, we have three campaign that we've been tested and they work equally well. This is depending on country, like if you're in the United States, if you're in the UK or you're in Australia, it's also depending on the time as well, whether the market is hot or the market is, is cold, right? Um, that's depend on the bank and the interest rate. So it's variable, but this three, uh, message seems to work really well for us in terms of getting seller lead, right? So um, I want to explain the workflow first and the setup before we get into the actual script, right? First of all, you want to go to setting, right? And you want to have allow on, uh, allow, you know, this is really optional if you like really optional, whether you want to have this on and off, it's not going to make too much of a deal, but you want to have this one off, stop on respond, right? Because it's a follow-up message. Essentially what it's, it's, uh, it sent people is that, hey, we have this big promotion or we have this big irresistible offer, um, reply yes, right? And then the next message is just saying follow up, follow up and follow up. So you wanna make sure that you have to stop on on, uh, on respond on. And um, time zone, you wanna have in contact time zone. So um, if you base, um, let's say in Australia and you work with the you know client in the US, it's very important that you actually not message people at night, right? So you want to base on the contact time zone, right? We don't have any specific time in general. Um, we just leave that blank, but you can also come in here and set specific time. But um, generally just have Sunday off, but we just choose not to do that. Um, in here, right, you can have like, you know, your client name or whatever name, but we just put username and location name, right? In here as a custom def uh, default, right? Um, so that's just our setup. Feel free to modify that however you wish, right? So the trigger here is based on a tag ad, right? And we have three different tags. Um, let's just show you, right? So the first tag is called database reactivation message two, right? Um, we just have it on the other way around, but this is called 
database reactivation campaign investor message one. And the other one is based on tag added database reactivation campaign seller message one. So we got seller message one, investor message one, and then we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna have seller message two. So these, these are different trigger that is based on tag being add. So we've got three different tag each. If we add one tag at a time, they're going to go into one campaign at a time, right? So hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to show you how to actually, how all of this connecting, uh, in a second, but like, um, after that, they all, um, going to like a branch, three different branch. Um, you can see here in condition, right? Uh, condition database reactivation mess, uh, based on trigger workflow, sorry, workflow trigger and is tag, right? Um, seller message one, right? This is just the name, right? And this is all just based on workflow trigger, uh, on the, uh, different trigger that we have set up. So, um, essentially what it does is it does the same thing. The only different is the message on the top, right? So, um, let's just say here the investor, let's just start from the first one, the investor message one, right? Investor message one, it just going saying, um, Hey, first name, the housing market is uh, extremely hot right now. We're going to help you. Uh, we have helped 100 investors all over the United States to buy property with up to 8 to uh, eight to 12% rental yield. Not uncommon. Was wondering if you're open to getting a free market update on your property, on your portfolio, a uh, property portfolio right now to see where your equity lie. All right. Reply yes and we'll be in touch. So it's more like targeting. Um, investor, you know, and, um, this is a script. The second, uh, message is just saying, Hey, are you still there? Just reply yes. And we'll be in touch. And the third message just saying, um, you know, yeah. Did you end up seeing the above message? Want to call back? So really this three, the, the, the second and the third message is really just a follow up. That's why it's very important to have to stop on respond on. Um, so the, the second branch, the second um, possibility here, once you add the, this, the second tag is just this, right? It's saying, Hey, how, Hey, uh, location city housing market is extremely hot right now. We have homeowner in your area, sell property for 50 to hundred K over the asking price. Not uncommon. Was wondering if you open to get free market update on your current property, you see where your equity lie, right? Similar, similar thing as the previous one. But I guess it hit in a different angle. One is saying we can sell your house for a better price. Other one saying um, we help investor buy property for a uh, more rental yield, right? So um, sort of different over there. Um, but again, second and third message is exactly the same. But um, this is different. This this one's actually worked the best um, for us, and it's called a seller message one, and um, it's saying. Hey, username, um, we are, sorry. Hey, first name is username from location name. Um, location name is like the business name, by the way. Um, I'll be around your area tomorrow all day. Would you like a quick home appraisal update where I can show you how to add 50 K plus worth of value to your current property? Just reply. Yes. So it's more simple, more straight to the point. And again, second and third message, uh, message is just a follow up. They are the same thing. So. Again, we've got three possible message. The contact will go in, uh, based on the tag that you add. Hopefully that makes sense. So, um, for those of you who are just starting out, this might seem scary, but let me just walk you through. So if you add this tag, right? The first one, if you add this tag, if you see the, the red line, here, uh, the black line here that I highlight, if you add this tag, DR campaign two, right? If you actually add that tag, they will go into this workflow, right? DR uh, message to, sorry, seller message two, then they will go to seller message two. If you add, um, seller message one, they will go to seller message one here, this one, they will go to this one. So hopefully that makes sense. So, um, that is the thumb of the, um, first workflow. Um, the second workflow is what really, um, I guess like closing the deal, right? This is where the 50% of the, uh, campaign come from. So it's trigger based on customer reply on the previous workflow, but this one is actually contained, um, 
we like like just please be careful that you we pick the contained phrase here. <clears throat> Sorry. So I don't know. Contained phrase, yes. <clears throat> Sorry. The reason why we we put contained phrase instead of exact match is that sometimes people reply, yes, let's do it. Yes, I can. Yes, I want to. So um, we don't want to pick exact match. We want to pick contained phrase for the word yes, right? <clears throat> Sorry. So um, for people who reply yes, they're going to a condition for, um, for this condition, right? People that reply yes, workflow triggers reply yes, um, they're going to update opportunity internal uh, notification and just get ad tag reply yes, right? But what happened is that they're going up to a further nurturing sequence that ask them that get them to book a call with our agent and get them to reply much much further, right? So um, yeah, actually the the sequence actually go on for quite some time. It's actually go on for a very long time, as you can see. And at the end, they're going to a manual call and as manual SMS so that, that our agent can follow up if they haven't replied by then. And again, we want to make sure that stop or respond is on for this one, right? Because a lot of it is just follow up. So the second trigger is based on people that just simply reply, but without any keyword, yes, right? So this is could be people that replied, who are you, who's this, one more information, or anyone that just like didn't reply, yes. And what we do is that we don't send them follow up message at all because the re reply is, could be anything. So we're just creating opportunity and we'll also modify, uh, sorry, uh, notify our agents and send out internal notification. And we add a different tag to them, which is reply tag, right? So this is a yes tag and this is a reply tag. Now we're not going to send them any more SMS or anything. So our agent job is just to actually check in and reply with them and actually um, book the appointment because the reply is literally infinite, right? So um, this is the sum of, you know, uh, database reactivation, right? So now let's just show you guys two things here, right? Number one is how to set it up if you don't work with a real estate agent. Let's say you work with gym owner or mid spa, right? So this is very easy, guys. So you want to come back to the workflow and go to um, database reactivation workflow, which is the number one workflow, the one with, uh, with number one on it. And then what you need to do is that, I mean, you can either delete all of this or replace it, but I would just create a another tag, right? I would just create a tag, right? And, um, or even if you want to, if you still work with real estate agent, but you want to split test a different message and you don't, you don't want to use our scripts, right? You say add tag it and you can add, um, whatever tag that you want. Let's say we're doing like gym, like gym DR tag, right? Let's say this is gym DR tag, right? And then you want to add new tag and then you want to name it properly, right? Contact tag, tag, hashtag DR campaign, gym tag, something like, something along that line, whatever, like it's not that important, right? So you're going to add that, right? Once we save it, that trigger is registered. And then we can come back to condition and we want to add a branch and we want to go to workflow trigger and we want to go is, and then we want to pick that gym, right? So that's mean when you add that tag, um, the uh, campaign gym, right? Um, you are going to be sending them a message that you're going to be assigning, right? So um, we're going to say uh, the uh, campaign gym and I even gonna put here your own message right yeah I should actually name it called as it say GMT instead of gym but um let's just go fix that might be in a snapshot this is the actual snapshot account um so the next thing is that just hit save again and the, the fastest way is just go to copy. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. It's quite small. Let me just zoom in a bit. All right, zoom in, zoom in, and copy from here. So you want to, again, you want to go to copy and copy all action from here, right? And then click here so that, boom, you got all of that done. And what you want to do is that you want to come in here 
and actually change that message to gym related content, right? So for gym, it would be like reply yes if you want our, you know, seven day boot camp or something like that along that line, right? So we're obviously not going to save that. I'm going to like just delete that. But if you want to launch your own message, you just have to create an additional branch um, to it. And um, yeah, that's really all you have to do. Even the second workflow, you don't even have to change anything, right? So the second workflow, because it's based on replying, the second workflow, the trigger is based on a reply from the first workflow. So you don't even have to change anything, right? Again, but if you're on gym, you want to make sure that, you know, this content is relatable to gym um, memberships and all that stuff, right? So you can go ahead and actually modify this. So the goal of this video is to show you guys that we can do this with other industry as well. It's still going to work, right? The, the, the most important part is probably the script and the message. So let's go ahead and launch it. So we want to go to contacts, right? First, navigate the contacts, right, up here. And you want to upload your list ideally your client list, right? And you want to click, pretty much you want to click import and put in the CSV file or whatever file it is and just go ahead and map some field out and uh, yeah, go ahead and proceed with the upload that. I just don't have any list right now to actually show you guys that, but trust me, guys, it's really simple. Um, I have created a contact to show you how to do this. You want to select all of your contacts, which is this one. And then you want to add a tag. Right, so you want to add a tag. Remember, we name our tag. So if you want to send all of the contacts, the seller message one, you would select this mess, like this tag, right? And then you want to just give it an action. Seller message one DR. And now normally I put like the actual date in there. You know, uh, I'll put the date, like which is 5, 5, 2024, right? So yeah, so you you might watching this in the future, whatever it is, you just want to put date. That's just how I do it. That's just how I structure my workflow. Um, and what you want to do is actually hit add, and every one of this contact will get add this tag. That means the workflow. That means the workflow will hit will get trigger. Just make sure it's being published and all that stuff, right? And then it will send down all those message that we designed. And once the people reply. Yes, they will get added to a different version. And when people reply something else, it will get, you know, get added to a different version of a reply campaign. So that's how you do database reactivation. Hopefully that makes sense. I will really try my best to make it as simple as, as possible in terms of, um, you know, putting into a snapshot and then explain it in this video. But hopefully that makes sense, guys. It's only two workflow and, um, I'm, hang on, I just want to navigate back to automation, right? Um, it's only two workflow and it's super easy to understand. So if you have any other question, make sure that you reach out and the snapshot is somewhere around this video. You have to be inside our free course to get a snapshot, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.